Hey, welcome back to the scale model experiment. This week, we're going to be painting the Audi RS7 that I just reviewed on the channel just a little while ago. I have a new sponsor, uh, Upscale Hobbies, and they have provided me with a few alpha model kits and some paints coming on the way and some more stuff. Make sure you check out their website and uh, see if you can find something. Let's get on to it. Prep work is super easy. Just chase out these panel lines. Just keep going over them until they're nice and deep. Then once you're done with that, grab a 3000 grit sanding sponge and rough up the entire body to get it ready for primer. It sort of rounds out any sharp edges too. I also like to drill out these holes for the door handles just so that they're a little bit bigger when uh, you go to put the door handles in when they're painted and everything. And when you're done sanding, all of your panel lines are gonna be filled with dust. So give it a good washing with a toothbrush and some Dawn dish soap to get any kind of grease or fingerprints off of the body. And then we're ready for primer. For this project, I'm gonna be using Tamiya Fine Surface Primer in pink. I'll decant it into this little plastic cup until I have about 10 milliliters. Then I'll thin it 50% with Mr. Hobby Leveling Thinner. So I have about 15 milliliters of total paint. Pour it into the cup and then it's going to start bubbling. What it's doing is it's outgassing all of, all of the propellant that's in the paint. So you just have to wait a little bit and then you can go ahead and get started with it. This is a Tamiya anti-static brush. I don't know what I did before I started using this, but it takes all of the little itty bitty pieces of dust off of your paint and you'll be dust free when you shoot paint. I shot three spoons to test which color I wanted to use, and I chose Devil's Venom. It's got uh, some pearl in it. It's uh, more in the orange side of red. So you guys are gonna like it.
that the body is clear coated, I'm going to get rid of some of that uh, orange peel-ish looking stuff I got in this paint. It's not too bad. Um, the sides are a little bad, a little fuzzy, but um, I'm going to start with a 6,000 grit sanding sponge and I'm going to flatten the whole car down with this 6,000 grit and uh, then move on to 8, 10 and polishing compounds. So. I'll see you guys when I'm done with this. I'll see you guys when I'm done with this 6,000 grit. Okay, I finished with the 6,000 grit, and now I'm gonna look it over real close and look for any hazy spots. Like a little bit right here. Just watch the light. You can tell in a second, like right there, I need to work on a little more here along this edge here really bad right there see that this is the process to get it right before you move on to the next grit it's really a good idea to just look over your work and make sure you got it 100%, like right here too. It's getting there. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've polished out to 10,000 grit. And as you can see, it's very shiny already. Wait until you see, let me throw some ceramic compound on it. It's just gonna pop. I'm just gonna use a dot of it. And I'm gonna rub it in until it's gone. Just work it in. And it's gonna fill all the little micro scratches in and bring the deep shine out of it. It'll deepen the color a little bit. friends is a nice shine so what do you guys think I think that's pretty good shine so the next video I'm going to be doing for this car will be the full build of it um, I've got most of the parts painted and uh, we'll just do a final assembly video and you can watch me finish it until next time I'll see you in the next video bye You still here? Go ahead and watch the next video. Hit the subscribe button.